Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about Kubernetes config maps. We'll discuss what are the config maps, in which scenario you should be using it, and how do you configure the config map with your Kubernetes configurations or Kubernetes objects. To start our discussion, let's first of all understand the definition of config map. Config maps are the Kubernetes API objects which you can use to decouple your application configuration data. I'll repeat again, you can use the config map to decouple your application configuration data. I mentioned application configuration data. I have not mentioned about anything about the secret information because to use the secret information or to decouple the secret information, you use the secret objects in Kubernetes. So anything which is related to a configurable data, which is non-secure, you are going to use it inside the configuration object or the config map objects. As I said, in the pod, you have your images, like let's say I have a Docker image for Nginx and I would like to decouple this information from my pod. So this Docker image is going to be distributed across these pods and the config map object will remain somewhere in the Kubernetes cluster. This is what the demonstration says. Again, the type of data which we are going to store in the config map is going to be literal key value pair strings or it could be any object type of data. We'll show in the demonstration how the, what kind of a data it looks like and how do you configure the config map into the application data. To move on to the demonstration, I'm going to use my Visual Studio code for the various demos about the config map. Let's first of all create the config map object with the help of config map files. To create a config map, you can create a YAML file inside your application project. So I have created this demo.yaml file, demo1yaml file, and I'm going to use my Kubernetes extension to get the intelligence about my different Kubernetes objects. For example, I want to create a config map, so I will type con and that is going to give me an intelligence to create the config map object, which suggests you want to create a config map object. But I'll press tab and here is the config map object structure looks like. You need to provide the kind as in config map, the metadata information, which would have the metadata information like name. You can have the namespace about your config map object in case if you would like to wish or if you wish to host this config map into a separate namespace. At the moment, default value of the namespace is going to be the default namespace for your Kubernetes cluster. So that's where we are not mentioning it here. So name equal to the name of your config map object. So I'm going to say the map one, for example, that's the name of my config map object. And inside the data, as I mentioned, you could have the key value pair of your config map object. So the key is going to be any key, for example, let's put it, call it as an any key, and the value is going to be any value. Similarly, I could have the key as in, let's say car, model and then I can say the model name is an BMW. Similarly, the year of making, for example, year of making. So I can say 2019. Here in this case, year of making is a numerical data, but config map does not accept the numerical data as is. So you have to provide in double quote as any string parameter and that should be okay. Because even though here the string, actual string value, we are not providing it as in the string double quoted because the YAML object understood that this is what the value type is of type string. But here in this case, you have to specify the value as in double quote if it is a type of numeric. This you should be you should remember while providing the values. So let's first of all create the config map object. So there are a number of options to create a config map object in Kubernetes. The first and most easiest way which I like is you can create a config map object with or any type of object basically with the kubectl apply command. And that's what we are going to do here and going to provide the config map demo or the demo one file name and that will create the config map object. Before I do that, let me verify kubectl get all 
so that will display the list of all the pod object deployment everything available here and you can see that i have a clean Q kubernetes cluster created and i'm connected to that and this kubernetes cluster created in azure now i can run the kubectl apply command again uh, apply command and then this time provide the value you can see that we have the config map object created let's verify the config map object to get the information about the config map object you can use kubectl get config map or shorthand you can use cm which is the shorthand value for the config map object as a result we are getting the config map object which we have just now created 15 seconds ago to get the value inside or to verify the value inside this config map object i can anytime use describe command kubectl describe and then what do you want to describe i want to describe config map and then name of the config map which you want to describe if i run this command that will display the list of configuration which i have in my configuration map object obviously if you would like to edit the config map value i can use kubectl edit and then what do you want to edit i want to edit config map and then i need to provide the name of the config map that will open the notepad editor wherein i can edit the config map values and this is how the notepad editor will open to edit the value i can go ahead and edit any values for example i would like to change it to 2020 and let's save it it will ask for the save anyways and now again if i run the config map describe object you can see that earlier we have the value as in 19 and now we have got the value as in 20 so this is how you can manage your config map object with the help of kubectl command that's the option number one to create the config map object now let's look at how do we create the config map object with the help of let's see what are the different ways to create the config map object to find out those ways you can use kubectl create config map or you can use shorthand cm and then dash help parameter or help attribute so that will display the list help to uh, the different option to create a config map object you can read it here the config map object can be created with the help of folder wherein you can provide from file and then provide the folder location as in file from file parameter similarly you can use the same file from file option and basically you can provide the file path actual file path or multiple file paths using the config map object so let's use this particular file path option and we are going to create the config map with the help of file for that i'm going to copy this command as is and i'm going to use this value so before i run this command let me show you the file which i have so this is the file i have here in this file basically i'm having this key value pair so using this file i would like to configure my config map objects let me run this command and that will create the config map object now if i run kubectl get cm i should have another config map object created successfully dot operator here now the config map is created i can verify with kubectl get cm and my config is something which we have created just now uh, let's take an example where we have the pod deployed within an application for example i have the angular js application deployed in the kubernetes cluster as a inside a pod and in that AngularJS application, we have the configuration to save or to capture the logs. For example, logs we would like to capture as in warning information or the error type of log. And we also have the configuration to store the log into our various location. For example, I could store the evolved logs into the flat file or database or into the application inside as a third party container now to store such information i am going to leverage the config map object how do i do that for that i am going to create a config map object and which i am going to provide several properties as in key value 
For example, this is my cube config map object as in log configuration. Here in the log configuration, I have two different parameters set as log level and log location. Let's create this config map object for first of all. So config map apply and then we are going to use the config map name that will create this log configuration of in the Kubernetes cluster. So I can use the get command get cm. I have the log configuration available. Now let's see how do we refer the config map into our pod. For this I have a busy box pod configuration which we are going to use in this example. In the busy box we are running the beans sh command and now in this busy box container we would like to set up the environment variable to create or set up an environment variable you can use env command inside the container configuration and you need to provide the name of your environment variable so let's call it as a log level for example and then the value i you can use the value from option in the value from option basically you get multiple option to create the values for example, you can create a value from the config map reference or you can create a value from source field reference or a secret field reference. So let's create a value from the config map reference. So in this case, I'm going to choose the config map reference. You need to provide the which key you would like to use as in value and the name of the config map. So let's say name as in the name of the config map, which is our config map name as a log config for example and then value which value we would like to use it as an environment variable inside this busy box container so i would like to use log level as the value of this environment variable now if i go and run this and create the pod i can use apply command or i can use create pod command and then i can provide the file path container busy box container this is my busy box container let me log into this container with the help of exctc command so i'm going to use kubectl exc uh, the name of the container which is busy box one t and then what command we would like to run here so i'm inside the busy box container now to verify whether we have the environment variable configured which we have set up in the in our pod configuration let's run the env command and as a result we can see that we have our environment variable configured as a log level and the value of that environment variable is warning and that's what we wanted to set up inside our pod configuration so now this pod which is running our nginx application for example this will take this value from the environment variable and this value is coming from the config map as in reference. I hope this is clear now. Let's look at the second example. In the second example, we are going to take a look at how do you configure the config map with the complex data or the entire configuration. In the initial discussion, we talked about the Nginx configuration. So we are going to take the same, same example in that I have the config map as a Nginx configuration. So this is my config map configuration for the uh, config map object file for the nginx configuration you can see that we have the name as an nginx configuration you can put any name and the value again the key value format this is my key name and this is the pipe character if you are willing to provide a multi-line uh, value inside uh, for, for your key you should be using this pipe character and here is my configuration this is how it looks like right again you can have a multiple key and values but here in this example this, i just have one key and one value let's create this config map object in our kubectl uh, in our kubernetes cluster for that i'm going to use kubectl apply from file and then i'm going to use the config map tool so that will create the nginx configuration as in config map which i can verify with the help of kubectl get cm this is how it looks like now to again to refer this configuration map 
what we are going to do we are going to use the uh, volume configuration so basically we are going to set this configuration map as in file with the help of volume bound so this is my nginx yaml file basically to create the nginx pod you can give it any name for example i am going to give nginx 111 container name is uh, again i can give any name it's just the name of the nginx image you have to write it correctly at the moment i have given the name as an nginx so that will download the latest image of the nginx here next you need to configure the volume mount and refer or attach that volume mount to this container for that i am going to use this code this is my volume where i am configuring the volume map as in config value uh, you can give any name here and then the volume which we are attaching we are attaching the volume volume from config map and this is the name of our config map which we have created just now again if you remember this was the key of our config map path is again optional if you want to give it any path you can provide the path name value here again this volume we need to attach to our container and this is what we are doing it here we are attaching the volume to our container as in volume mount name of the volume map mount which we are attaching because you can have multiple volumes configured here in your pod configuration so from those multiple volume mount this is my volume mount name which i would like to attach to this container and this is going to be a path inside this path this volume mount is going to be created as an file i hope this is clear now let's create this config map object or a nginx pod object qctl apply f and then nginx file name so that should display the config map that should create the nginx pod configuration i can go ahead and describe this just to see whether the pod has been created config map describe pod and if i take a look at that you can see that this is my volume configuration which is been attached to this particular pod so i'm connected i'm i'm inside the nginx pod so let me clear this out for now so if i run the ls command this is my ls command now if i go to etc dash so if i run again ls that's where we have all our files where we have set up our nginx if I run cd config for example config so where do we have the config file this is the folder name we would like to go into now if I run I have the demo folder again if I now if I'm going to use the cd as a demo this is not going to be run because see, demo is basically a file which is configured as a volume mount now again if i'm going to use environment variable as a demo uh, it's, it will fail because that's not an environment variable that's actually file to view the content of the file i can use the demo cat cat demo that will display the con config map configuration as in file so basically this is what the configuration which we have set up inside our pod so with this example we have set up successfully how do you configure the config map object as in volume bound and how do you refer it into the our pod yeah i hope this is useful thanks for watching it if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you are willing to any specific topic in the kubernetes thanks for watching it see you in the next video